This file contains a list of leads or records which I wish to upload into Salesforce. So we have five different leads which we want to upload into Salesforce and instead of doing it manually or creating them manually, we want to upload them using the Salesforce data loader. So we have these columns, first name, last name, company, state, status, title. Uh, each of these columns is going to be mapped to a particular field into Salesforce and all of this data is going to go to Salesforce directly. So first we need to make sure our file is saved as a CSV because that's the only format which is accepted by the Salesforce data loader. So I've saved my file as a CSV and now I'm going to open up data loader and we want to upload or insert data, right? We want to create these records. For that, we're going to click insert and it's going to ask us where do we want to log in? Do we want to log into production or sandbox? I want to log in into production right now. I'm going to click login. It's going to redirect me to my browser and it's going to connect with whichever Salesforce org we currently have opened up. We're going to click connect over here. And in the next screen, it's going to show us the username and it's going to confirm whether or not this is the org you wish to connect with. I'm going to say yes, allow. And we are now connected. I'm going to open data loader again and it says login successful. Click next. I'm going to choose which object I wish to upload my data into. I'm going to choose leads for now because that's where I want to upload the data. I'm going to browse for the file from which I want to upload the data right here. Click next. It's going to initialize the file and it's going to tell us how many rows or records we're trying to upload. So we have five rows, which is correct. We're going to click OK. Now we need to map our column header. So we had six column headers. Now where should the data from each of these columns go into in Salesforce? That's what we need to tell the data loader. So we're going to click create or edit map. And now we have to map each field from our lead object in Salesforce with our column headers from our CSV file. So the bottom window shows us all the column headers from our CSV file. And the top window shows us all the fields that exist in the lead object on Salesforce. Either we can map them manually. For example, I have company, right? A column called company in my CSV. Where should the data in that column go into in Salesforce? It should obviously go into the company field that I have in Salesforce. So I can drag this from the top window to the bottom and map it like this. And I can do the same for the rest of the columns, or I can rely on Salesforce to auto match them based on the name of my CSV column headers and the name of the fields. If they're similar, Salesforce is obviously smart enough to map them on its own. If they're not similar, Salesforce may not be able to map them. So let's give it a try. Auto match fields, we've clicked on it. It may take a few seconds and Salesforce start mapping it automatically. And we can see that it was successfully able to map all of them because the names of our CSV column headers and the name of the fields are pretty much similar with each other. So it mapped perfectly. We'll then click OK. We click Next. Then we need to simply choose a directory where we wish to store the error and success file. So whenever we do a data upload or do any operation with Salesforce Data Loader, it generates a success and an error file. So if our data goes through successfully, Salesforce will generate a success file and store all of our records that went through into Salesforce successfully. It'll store them in that success file. If we got any errors and any records were not able to go through successfully, those will be stored in the error file and Salesforce will save both of them in this directory for us to review. For now, I'm gonna click finish. I'm gonna click yes. And we can see there were five successful inserts. So all of our leads went through successfully and zero errors. We're going to click OK. We can verify that by going into our Salesforce, going into the Leads tab, refreshing. And I'm going to simply sort by create a date. And I can see that a bunch of leads, five leads were created just now. And these were exactly the leads which we had in our CSV file. That's how you upload data using the data loader.